So I wanted to bring you some breaking news regarding uh, an approach that Chelsea have made uh, for Bertrand Traore, not Bertrand Traore, Adama Traore from Middlesbrough. Uh, and I just want to give you my thoughts on that uh, approach, whether I think it will, will happen, uh, a Chelsea fan's perspective, what I think of it. Um, and I also just want to tell you news just before we get into the Adama Traore uh, speculation. Um, but breaking news, according to Sky Sources, Diego Costa has rejoined the Chelsea first team in training after spending the last few days training away from the group. So it looks as if it's all been forgiven and forgotten and Costa is back into the Chelsea side. I said, um, you know, uh, as soon as the, so about Saturday, well, the news broke Friday, didn't it? Um, and then Saturday morning, I was confident Costa would stay. Uh, this January and I haven't changed my mind I think he'll stay this January and I think if he still wants to move away uh, then it will happen in the summer simple as that but let's talk about this Traore thing um, Middlesbrough winger Adama Traore we've made an approach for him now the guy's quick for me from what I've seen from him this season he lacks an end product um, he he's quick and I think that's, that's the big thing here. Now, looking at our system, where would we play him? I assume we'd be looking at playing him or, or having him as a, a backup to Moses on the, either the right-hand side or even, I suppose, on the left-hand side as a left wing-back, right wing-back, and trying to develop Traore into a kind of Victor Moses. Um, because he is quite an attacking player. I mean, I don't understand how he'd even compete with the likes of William Pedro and Eden Hazard for the wing positions. I suppose he'd give cover. I suppose you could argue he's a versatile player in that regard because you could play him left wing, right wing, uh, or you could play him left wing back or right wing back. But for me personally, not only has this come out of left field, but it is slightly bizarre. Now, the guy did... He started at Barcelona, for crying out loud. Um, so, you know, he is a decent player. You know, he's got decent pedigree, but he is not the finished article. And it would be something that we'd have to develop and simply bizarre, if I'm being honest. I don't understand why we'd want him when we may as we could. I, I don't know how much he'd be. He's a youngster, so you have to expect um, him to cost a little bit more than, than many would expect. Um, I, I think it's a bizarre one, if I'm honest. I think it's a bizarre one. Um, I mean, I don't know whether this has been linked anywhere else, but I haven't seen anything from this. Um, so it has come out of left field. It has shot me a little bit. And I'm just thinking to myself, surely there's better options. Look, I, I wouldn't hate it if the if the deal came across, right? I wouldn't hate it if, if we did sign uh, Adama Traore. I would just question why the hell we're interested in Adama Traore and not somebody who is proven and who is, you know, probably would be able to get for the same price. You know, if we go abroad, we could get him for the same price. I mean, he hasn't yet proven himself in the Premier League, Adama Traore. He played 14 times for Middlesbrough this season, but he hasn't really, uh, he hasn't really, you know, he hasn't really proven himself too much. Um... I mean, if there's any Middlesbrough fans, what do you think of this news? What do you think of Adama Traore? He was signed um, just this summer, actually. So it would be bizarre in some respects. But for me, this is just a bit of a, a bit of a bizarre one. And another thing I was just thinking is um, we've got Charlie Masunda, who there's talk about possibly him going out and moving to... Uh, moving to Roma, I think it is, on loan. But I would question, if we're going to bring in uh, Adama Traore, why the hell would we not uh, use Charlie Masunda instead? If we're thinking about Charlie, if we're thinking about Adama Traore, right, well, obviously, Conte feels we're short in, in the position of winger stroke wing back. I would have thought winger. Um, then why not use Charlie Masunda, who, you know, who's got that pedigree to a certain extent. I know his loan move foul, but he is a top player. Now look, you could look at this two ways. Him training with Hazard, him training with Pedro, him training with Costa and Willian, uh, Fabric, you know, top players. He could develop into something very, very good. He's very good with his feet. He's very good uh, on the ball. Uh, as I say, he lacks that end product, but that can be developed. And maybe he is another Victor Moses. Maybe. Um, I just think it's a gamble that is it worth taking when there's probably better options about? 
So that's my brief thoughts on Chelsea's approach for Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough's winger, Adama Traore. Do I think this deal will come across? I think it's 50-50 at the moment. Um, Sky Source is very reliable source usually. Um, we've obviously approached them, so we're obviously interested. I can't expect Middlesbrough will, you know, want millions and millions for him. I, I think we'll overpay, but um, I don't know. What do you think? Will this deal go through the line? Do you think it's a good deal? What do you think of it? Leave it down in the comment section below. Um, if you missed my transfer speculation video that I uploaded uh, about 19 minutes ago, um, make sure you go check that out. That video is up. I spoke about Payat, Costa, Morata, Griezmann, possible Morata move to Chelsea. I did speak about that in that video. And as soon as I went to upload the video, a load of stuff happened. Tom Carroll signed, Costa was back in training, and this deal broke. So I thought I'd do a follow-up. I thought I'd do a video uh, talking about that. So, um, yeah, that is what I have done. So, Morata... Morata? What the fuck? Adama Traore has been approached by Chelsea. This transfer window just keeps getting more and more bizarre by the day. When will it stop? Goodness gracious me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.